Welcome back to Kicking Flavor. Got some quality sneaker content for you today. Got some good information. We're going to be talking about Pusha T debuting the Adidas Fear of God collab and his own personal collab that he got with Adidas called the Thorn Collection. All right, two uh, dope shoes. We know about Fear of God, how dope their collabs are with Adidas. We've seen his Thorn collabs before. It was pretty dope. The newer one, the most recent one, it's even more dope. All right, so we're going to get into that. We also going to talk about Javante Davis knocking out ryan garcia in a custom pair of skunk dunks one of the most legendary dunks one of the most hype one of the most creative dunks celebrating cannabis 420 we know this was a big time fight that happened over the 420 weekend two undefeated fighters and some dope dope custom sneakers custom boxing shoes so we definitely gonna talk about that i didn't get into that we also gonna talk about the chicago 2-3 hybrid Air Jordans, all right? The pink surface. It was actually the Jordan brand VP who was wearing the shoes. And we know how the sneaker community feels about hybrids. We don't really fuck with hybrids. We don't like hybrids. People hate on them. Just like Team Jordans, they hate on hybrids. Any type of hybrids, the sneaker community usually gets mixed reviews or they just straight up don't fuck with them and don't like them. But I'm going to tell y'all this, man. This might be a little bit different. All right, I'm kind of feeling these hybrids. All right, we're going to get into them, man. All right, we also going to talk about Deion Sanders. He was spotted wearing some Nike Diamond Turf Max. We know that was his um, signature shoe that he played baseball and football in when he was a professional athlete. It's something a little different about these, all right? And, and, and it's a little it's a little backstory to this. We're going to get into that, man. There might be some big things coming up with Nike and Deion Sanders. I don't know. That hasn't, that hasn't been confirmed. I'm not saying that that's, you know, 100% facts, but I'm going to give y'all my reason and why. We're going to get into that, all right? Now, if you enjoy this content, if you find it entertaining or useful in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I enjoy bringing y'all sneaker content, sneaker news, sneaker updates, whatever the case may be. I appreciate you watching. Let's get to the sneaker content now and now Deion sanders was spotted at the black and gold game that's the colorado game uh their inner murals or whatever you want to call it scrimmage game the black team the gold team they go against each other now we know ever since Deion sanders became head coach at university of colorado it's been a lot of clips going viral of him talking to the kids him trying to rally the troops and bring a certain type of culture to the university of colorado i'm gonna be real y'all i'm interested to see what he'll do we've seen him do his thing at jackson state he came through, he won championships, he did what he was supposed to do. However y'all feel about his exit, you know, that's your personal opinion, but he won a championship, he accomplished his goal, so I gotta salute to him for that. But let's get into the sneaker now. Now, we seen him wearing the Nike Diamond Turf Max on the sideline. That was his signature shoe that he played football and baseball in. Legendary shoe great colorways a lot of people sleep on the shoe man i feel like this is kind of a forgotten shoe but i think that might change now Deion sanders is officially signed to under armor okay so usually when we see him coaching when we see him out and about we see him at under armor when we see him on tv he's very active in the marketing campaign and things like that with under armor but because he's a coach and he's employed with the university of colorado as the head football coach in his contract he has to coach in nike apparel all right so we seen him in these particular shoes now it was something a little different about these shoes man that's why i'm talking about this and that's why this is a big deal now these weren't the regular nike diamond turf max all right this was like an updated version it look a little bit different i'm gonna put the images on the screen the shoe look different y'all the shoe look updated it looked like the technology and the quality the material of the shoe might just be better you know what i'm saying that's just what i'm that's just what the eye test is telling me obviously Deion sanders has the notoriety and the power and the influence and the money and the fame for nike to make one shoe for Deion sanders every game that he coached nobody else get it nike don't he know he it's just one pair made for him every saturday of course that could be the case. That could be the situation. But y'all, I don't think it is. I think we're going to see more of this shoe in the future. Now, this shoe was released in 96, y'all. The style of the shoe, the way this shoe is, the, the how aggressive it looks, that kind of matched today's time. If they switch up these materials, make it look a little bit more tighter fitting, make it look a little bit more sleek, this shit is going to pop, man. This shit going to go crazy. Nike may have other colorways ready to go. 
even if they just for Deion Sanders, they gonna see how people react to him and shit. I don't know, man. We may get these released. I think it's a possibility. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know Deion Sanders, the specifics in his contract. I don't know if they could, if Nike could have him specifically market them and just have his face on the shoe. But I don't know about that. But what they could do is use him to preview colorways. And hey, he could use them too. Use them to, you know, gain notoriety. He already worked with them. He already dropped the shoe. It's his shoe. So it's going to forever be associated with him, whether his face is by it or not. So he's always going to, uh, he's always going to gain from it, from the situation. So if the ball is in Nike's court, um, if they want to, you know, roll out more colorways, I think they should. I think this shoe would look dope in a whole lot of different colors, man. Let me know. Get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this shoe, man. Should they bring out more colorways? Do y'all think this, uh, it's just one shoe? Every Saturday just for Dion, You know what I'm saying That's a possibility man He that type of dude You feel me He's done that much in the sport So he can have that I'm not saying that You know That's not gonna be the case I don't know But I'm hoping for more Colorways of the shoe It's a dope shoe He a dope athlete Great coach I wanna see more of him You know With Nike This might th This could possibly be Some sort of loophole You know what I'm saying Because again He is with Under Armour But y'all get in the comments And let me know What y'all think about the Nike Diamond Turf Max, the updated look, and Deion Sanders working with Nike in the future. All right, now let's get into Pusha T debuting the Fear of God collection for Adidas. Now, before I get into this, let me just say this. Recently in the news, Jim Jones said NBA Young Boy was better than Pusha T. Pusha T isn't a top 50 rapper. This nigga Jim Jones, man, and I'm a big Diplomats fan. If you know me, I'm a big supporter of Diplomats. I've been listening to them for a long time man since you know eighth ninth grade i've been listening to the diplomat so i rock with diplomats but i've been listening to pusha t just as long and jim jones must have bumped his fucking head for him to say that nba young boy is better than pusha t you know i i don't know about that man i don't know what type of drugs jim jones is doing i hope he's good i hope everything in his life is good it seems like he is you know what i'm saying but yeah, man, he can't say he, he can't say shit like that because that's totally disrespectful. If you don't know about Pusha T, man, go look at his, some of his clip stuff. Go look at some of his features. Go look at some of the guest verses that he's done on other people's things, the features that he's done. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all be the judge of that, man. Saying that NBA Youngboy is better than Pusha T, that shit is insane, man. But let's get into the sneaker content. So Pusha T debuted the Fear of God collection, one of the shoes and one of the shoes from his personal collab with Adidas, the Thorn collection. All right, it's no release date on either. You know what I'm saying? But this news is coming at a very critical time with Adidas. All right, now the Fear of God shoes, they look off the motherfucking chain, man. These shits look hard. They look kind of like Kobe's to me. I like that look, man. You know what I'm saying? Fear of God killed that shit. Fear of God got multiple grails. We know what they done, the history of them. But I think they just keep rolling out bangers, man. The shoes look cool. They look what's in now. But they also look a little bit different. I don't know, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the shoe now. The Thorn shoe, they look cool as well. They look more like traditional Adidas. And this is um, Pusha T's uh, exclusive collab with Adidas, you know what I'm saying? So he just debuted the Fair Guys. You know, he was the first person that I seen wearing publicly besides the leaked photos. But that's, you know, that's Fair God and Adidas collab. The Thorn Collection is Pusha T himself collabing with Adidas. We know he does work with Adidas. He's been doing work with them for a minute. And these shoes are dope. These are better than the first one. The first Thorns, I think, uh, they didn't really. Uh, you know, cause a splash like these will. You know what I'm saying? Both of them was dope, but this pair is definitely better, man. I'm rocking with these. Now, again, this news comes at a critical time for Adidas. We just got some un some photos of some unreleased Kanye Yeezy 500 high boots. These shits look like tactical boots. They don't look too bad. Not my style. I don't know what I would wear those with. Um, they look like some motherfucking SWAT team tactical type boots, but that's the sh that's the shit Kanye on. It just looked like some uh, army military boots with um Yeezy uh, soles on it, but they don't look bad. They don't look bad. They actually got some fire starter material in the shoelace, so it's on some real tactical living in the woods shit. But that's just you know 
that's just the um, that's just the aesthetics of the shoe. It's gonna be scammers wearing us. It's gonna be drug dealers wearing us. It's gonna be IG models, strippers wearing us. Nobody's gonna be in the woods surviving. It's gonna be a whole bunch of people in Miami, Atlanta, LA, doing drugs uh, in the studio, being IG models, going to photo shoots. That's the type of people that's gonna be wearing these boots. But um, you know, they're unreleased. They're not coming out yet, but they do look pretty dope. You know, it's an interesting looking boot. Now, what I'm hearing is that it's a lot of Yeezy stock, and that actually makes sense, man. I'm hearing that we're going to get a lot of unreleased photos uh, into the future, and it actually makes sense because the relationship between Adidas and Kanye West ended unexpectedly. It randomly ended. It wasn't anything that either of them foreseen. I don't believe Kanye West said some things. We all know what he said that a lot of people didn't agree with, so it ended unexpectedly. I'm guessing it, they have warehouses full of Yeezys, unreleased. They just sitting on them right now. They not sure what they're gonna do with them. This boot is one of them Let me know how y'all feel about these boots, man. Do y'all want these unreleased? I feel like it's other colorways of these as well. It's other colorways. I'm like again I'm not sure how they're gonna handle the situation, but I feel like it's a lot of stock Yeezys everywhere all type of shit We ain't never seen crazy colors crazy collabs crazy silhouettes man y'all get in the comments Let me know what y'all think about the new uh, unreleased 500 high Firestarter tactical boots. This nigga Kanye wild. Firestarter tactical boots. Um, unreleased. All black. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all want to see these released? Okay, now let's get into this fight that happened over the weekend, man. Javante Davis knocked out Ryan Garcia in a seventh round uh, body shot KO, man. Now, this was two great fighters, two undefeated fighters, man. Um, so, you know, I believe Tank was 28 and 0. I think Ryan Garcia was, uh, 23 and 0 or something like that. They was both in the, you know, uh, mid to upper 20 and O's, uh, going against each other. So this was just a great fight, man. It lasted until the seventh round. Can't be mad at that. It was some strategic fighting, man. Some strategic, uh, boxing going on, man. And I would like to see a rematch. I know a lot of people was had different opinions on it. They said they didn't want to see a rematch. I heard some people saying that, uh, Ryan Garcia threw the fight. You know, I don't know. I don't believe that personally, but I would like to see a rematch, man, because it was a very skilled fight. If you watch that fight, you seen how Ryan Garcia came out as the aggressor, you know, using his long arms, using his taller frame, using his reach to kind of keep Tank Davis at bay. But I guess while we was watching that, Tank Davis' mind was soaking up what Ryan Garcia was doing and adjusting to it. Um, and he knocked him down before that seventh round KO. But that seventh round, he uh, ducked the shot, hit him in the, in the ribs. And you know what I'm saying? He went down. So let me know what y'all think about the fight, too. But no doubt, this was a great fight. But the point of this is about the shoes. Now, Gervonta Davis was wearing some custom skunk dunks, cannabis-inspired boxing shoes. All right, now, I'm guessing it was the 420 weekend. A lot of cannabis use going on, you know what I'm saying? And this is a legendary cannabis-themed shoe. This just goes to show you how far the sneaker culture has come. It, you know, I can't even imagine this ever happening um, at, at one time when I was a young kid, man, I just remember all boxers wearing the same kind of shoes. Roy Jones Jr. and some other, you know, swaggy people switched it up. Jordan started getting boxes into the mix. But for a shoe like this, man, that really, you know, only sneakerheads know about this shoe. It's not like this is a Jordan. It is a Nike, which is a huge brand. But this is a dunk. You know what I'm saying? This is not an Air Force One or a Jordan or an Air Max. This is a dunk that, you know, really only sneakerheads really know about. And, you know, or really... Sneakerheads really understand how important this shoe is to the culture. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying only sneakerheads know about the shoe. Dunks are very popular, but this specific colorway is a grail, and th this kind of just shows how far the sneaker culture reaches. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is just a good moment. This is a big deal with sneaker culture, man. For this type of shoe, kind of an underground dunk. You know what I'm saying? An underground colorway to be on a stage like that in front of so many people and you know and it to just be on somebody during like a popping cool sports event it's a big deal man so the sneaker culture has come a long way they infiltrating every space obviously sneakers and sports 
are a integrated culture. Uh, those those cultures cross over in, in, a lot, in a lot of different ways, but it was just a special night uh, for the sneaker culture in general to have so many eyes that may not be on a shoe like that looking at them, and you know, it was a great fight as well. Now these Skunk Dunks was a 2010 release, one of the biggest cannabis releases. You know, Nike always does the 420 thing with the shoes. They they release certain dunks on 420. A lot of the dunks that they release on 420 had a secret patch for whatever you want to hide in your shoe. So it's a good, good, you know, theme. It's a it's a beautiful shoe. Uh, all the shoes on this 420 theme, you know, just they just look different man they just gonna look up on the screen i'm gonna put some up the materials are different the colorways are different so you know the 420s are kind of furry it's other ones that got kind of you know uh leathery popping textures they just always do some fun around 420 with the sneakers so this was just good to see man let me know what y'all think about this man other sports are doing this i have a whole nother video i'm gonna do about um custom shoes custom sneaker coaches baseball players basketball players football players everybody's getting in on action right now you know what i'm saying not just basketball players so get in the comments man let me know what y'all thought about this fight let me know what y'all think about the skunk dunks and let me know what y'all think about javante davis custom pair of skunk dunks and what that does you know for the sneaker culture having a big look like that now lastly i want to talk about this chicago 2-3 collab all right it surfaced the vp uh, of jordan footwear uh gentry humphrey was uh it's a picture taken of him wearing the 2-3 which is a hybrid of the air jordan 2 and the air jordan 3 into one sneaker now this is a fusion sneaker and Fusions and hybrids don't have a good history in the Jordan community. People in the Jordan community really don't like fusions. They don't like hybrids. Dub Zero, Spiz Ikes, those usually get bad reviews, okay? Uh, Spiz Ikes got mixed reviews, I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying? But mostly people really don't like hybrids. People in the sneaker culture kind of shun them or look down on them. And you know what? They, they do have a reason in some aspects. Now, some of these people are just hating. Some of these people just, they only want OGs to be cool. They only want, um, you know, retros to be cool. OG specific colorways to be cool because those are exclusive and those are more expensive and those are harder to get. So if I spend $350 on my shoes and you spend 189 on your shoes, I definitely want my shoes to be considered cooler than yours. So I understand that aspect. And you know, just to keep it, you know, I don't feel that way, but I do understand that aspect, you know, whatever. But to keep it real, usually hybrids just don't look that good, man. You know, I'm gonna be real, hybrids, and, and you know, hating on hybrids, that does sound, is like kind of, you know shoe snobbish because i don't like to i like people to wear what they like I, i'm a fan of team jordans i'm a fan of dub zeros but use but those are you know rare that rep that hybrids look good hybrids usually don't look good so a lot of the um you know sneaker people the sne people in the sneaker community who are kind of shoe snobs they are kind of justified in that because usually hybrids don't look well but I think this is different. All right? I think they done it right. I think just combining a two and a three is a good idea. It's a sleek shoe. The colorway looks dope. The lines look dope. It just matches up. These, these two areas of these specific shoes, the bottom of the three and the top of the two, they just go together. I think Jordan kind of just lucked up and got lucky this time because the, the I think it's the six, sevens, and eights, those don't look good. The Air Force Fusion Jordans, they're okay, but they kind of look funny, man. Fusions usually don't look good, and you know what? I'm going to let y'all know why. When you look at other players who have legendary shoes, who have Grail shoes, Kobe, KD, even LeBron, their shoes kind of, they go through spans where they look a lot alike. There are a lot of Kobe's that look identical to each other uh kds that look identical to each other even bronze his look a little bit more different than kobe's and kds but there are spans and and certain eras where the lebrons looked identical jordans aren't like that all jordans look pretty much different the earlier ones kind of favor each other but after about five 
they start looking completely different. So when you try to combine shoes that look completely different like that, the shit turns out ugly as hell. So that's why all these hybrids look uh, busted the fuck up like that. But these two threes, they're dope in my opinion. I like the silhouette, I like the way it looks. These pictures aren't the best. You know, we see the mock-ups and they look cool, but I need to see this shoe with other fits and up with paired with other colors, with other types of pants and things like that, shorts or whatever the case may be, socks, depending on how the socks look with it, all that matters. So I would need to see all that. This dude kind of got some big ass, you know, puffy ass jeans hanging over him. You can't really see the tie. I need to see, I need to see how his ankle look. I need to see how his ankle look with shoes low like that. So from what I see from the picture, it looks good, but I would need to see more to have a final overall judgment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Let me know what y'all think about hybrids overall. I think this may change hybrids. I think it's gonna be other colorways of these. This is one of the best Jordan hybrids that I've seen in a long time. Man, let me know what y'all think. I like this hybrid. I definitely cop these. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely wear these. So far, everything I've seen about them, they look dope. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these two, three hybrids and let me know what y'all think about hybrid jordans overall all right now that was a lot of heat that we just discussed man jam-packed show these shows are starting to get longer and longer man y'all get in the comments let me know are these too long i'm trying to keep them between 12 and 15 minutes sometimes i just can't do that man i usually cover i have four segments i cover four topics but sometimes those topics have two and three other things in them should i just move to three or maybe even two things cover them but just cover them thoroughly i'm trying to stay between 12 and 15 minutes man y'all let me know man get in the comments let me know i want to make this show better for y'all man if these episodes are getting too long if you're not interested and you're starting to not go back to them let me know i usually listen to things and go back if it's too long but not everybody's like me so y'all get in the comments let me know man now if y'all found this entertaining if y'all enjoyed the information like share subscribe help the channel grow i appreciate bringing y'all news and i appreciate y'all views man that was kicking flavor i'm gonna see y'all on the next episode peace